All right, everybody, welcome along to my first episode in my playthrough of Portal Revolution. Hope you're well. Uh, as always, we are playing this live on twitch.tv forward slash not skinny. And I think it'll probably take us a couple of streams to get through. So, um, yeah, I've just been running through the options. I think we're all good. So let's jump in to um, the latest Portal mod and uh, see what it's all about, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so we've got chapters here. We've got eight chapters. First one is called The Human Resource. I like the menus, the custom menus and everything. That's quite neat. Pretty neat indeed. I can get out of bed just yet. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Deep into aperture, I guess. Morning test subject, you have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your third year Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're well, you so. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. Okay. Oh, wow. Just a model. To be accepted into the human emergency response team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Hey, I want to read that. Please press the button to accept the terms. What if I, I don't want to? You didn't give me a chance to read it. I don't want to accept the terms. Thank you for volunteering. The door will open in three, two, one. Very similar to like a portal startup, Evan. That's probably why. All right. We start off in a BTS area. And there is no going back. Straight into a test chamber by the looks of it. See how familiar we are with Portal. It's been a while. It's kind of weird to toggle my zoom. Been used to just holding it. And I'm trying to press shift because all I've been doing recently is running around with shift. But uh, anyway, into test chamber zero. The glass from the ceiling. We'll go through the exit. And into the turbine. And on to the first test. I guess. Test subjects may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. Interesting, like the animation in on the door. Damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. And if I believe my brain isn't fully optional, uh, operational, what do I do then? I like the exit doors, like, instead of just having the blue, they kind of change to the orange when you um, go through them. That's pretty Very nifty. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. 
Okay. Looks like a bit of a... Almost a bit of a rehash, or very similar to the um, opening puzzle here of Portal 2 with the cube and the button. Very similar sort of stuff. I know what's not right here. Uh, uh, I think I need a... I need to find... Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. I, I, I'll i learn to play without it. I normally have jump on my toggle wheel, and that's what's um, on my mouse wheel. So it kind of, it's a bit weird, the movement that I'm used to. I think you can do it via a console command, but I'm not sure what that console command is. Alrighty. Guessing this respawns the cube, it does. Okay, cool. Pretty straightforward. But nice to, I mean, nothing like that you can't work out for yourself, but it'd be nice to have some sort of signage on that button. Please be advised yeah. that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. Alrighty. Funny humorous things, which was positive. Always good to have a, uh, a laugh on a work day. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Okay. As a candidate for the human emergency response team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations and, as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. So, pretty straightforward so far. We are starting off in typical portal fashion here with mono portal. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting exit there as well. I like the little glass corridor. Okay. Nice to have that extended um, like turbine elevator ride as well. That was pretty neat. Your performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met. Okay, again, pretty basic at the minute. Nothing too taxing. Uh, we're looking for a cube. Cube on the button. Interesting position of a fuse box gives an interesting light dynamic. Certainly something I haven't seen before. Yeah, we need to take the key with us, that's fine. Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. Yeah. I'm basically the first and only person to have done that test then. It's what you're trying to tell me, right? Oh, 
Okay, what do we have here? Lasers in this one potentially. This may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case okay. the sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. A couple of different routes that we could have gone here, but I think ultimately we need to go through two item, two elements here. We're going to line this up with that. And then go through here. That we we could have also. I was also looking at the possibility of putting a portal here to go straight through, but given that we need to hit that receiver as well, that relay. Sorry, not receiver. And that is what we do. If you have not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. Okay. I mean, so far, nothing really too difficult. Just still in like an introductory phase here. It's all good. Before starting with the next test chamber, we would like to remind you that so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. Uh, okay, I'm trying to process that in my head. There was a lot of, like, ne double negatives in there. So, cube droppers here. Assuming we need to respawn the cube. As there's another button here. And then we can exit. Okay, nice little reuse puzzle. And we have two cubes here. So we're going to need to do a switcheroo. But I don't think we've got to use the portals here. So. We're going to have to bring them through slowly, one at a time. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's it's good that, uh, although for like for a, like a, a portal player like myself, and like it's like very basic. So a musical that he's a catcher. Um, it's good that it does it because then it, it doesn't alienate people who potentially might just play the mod without playing like the main game kind of thing. Also, I didn't realize before, there's the uh, actual puzzle names on the tops of these. This one's called the Conservation of Momentum. It's interesting. I didn't notice that before. Well done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. It's an interesting looking camera. Also, for a minute, that sounded like the music was coming from the compact the, the cube. The music is kind of weird. The Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. Yeah, the music's like a little bit weird. It's like.
It is the cube that's making the music, isn't it? It is. I'm not going mad. That's insane. Swap that round, like so. And then we will do that. Gives us the laser. Yeah, so it's, it's not the music, like the way the music set that's weird. It's just that the cubes, all the cubes seem to play music, which is crazy. Excuse me. Not bad. All right, got the observation chambers here. Yeah. It seems so, Papyrus. Obviously, this is an area where we can go back and look at all of the puzzles from the observation rooms. One we were just in. Yeah, pretty neat so far. It's a um, nice little bit of um, exploration. Some nice little ally candy bits and pieces to look at. But so far, we are waiting for the puzzles to kick in. To see how we go. All right. As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Are you saying they are uncalibrated? There's uncalibrated faith plates. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Let's see what we got over here. Okay. Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. There. Try that. Good. That faith plate is now properly calibrated. What about this one, though? Oh, that's pretty neat. So that's why there are holes in the ceiling. Okay, we have the cube. We'll take the cube over here. That gives us that. I think that bugged out. I was looking at that panel thinking, well, how does that work? How am I supposed to be able to get up to the other area? Uh, yeah, okay. Need to get my bearings. There we go. Now I'm looking for an edgeless safety cube here, it seems. Fly off. 
up into the distance, it seems. All right, there we go. Well done. From now on, all aerial fade plates should be configured correctly. I promise. I'm not so sure. Alright, puzzle well done, eight, I think you are this is the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. That's lasers. Okay. That's not activated until we laser that. All BTS detail. That's an exit criteria. A cube. Same wake up. That's like I say, and wake up. It's quite interesting. I like that the 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 music is actually kind of fits really nicely into the yeah. The music actually fits really nicely into the soundtrack and the music for the level that's playing. So that's really nice. Nice touch. Excuse me. Uh, well, final, like, introductory puzzle, I guess. Okay, so here. Okay, I would... Actually, I don't know if we do do this. We need that cube over here, don't we? Thinking about blocking that, but no, that's not what we're going to have to do there. Yeah, no, they said something about that. Um, it was like the last test before we become like um, approved puzzle safety. People, I think it was something along those lines. Okay, so now we're here. Respawn laser cube. Yeah, that's what I thought. I I, I said it was uh, puzzle eight when we first, before we uh, got off the elevator, but the narrator was kind of indicating that it was the last puzzle for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, cool little puzzle though. Nice reuse of uh, elements. Your aperture science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the aperture science hard light bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. That's quite interesting. It was almost like the narrator was right with me there. Interesting noises going on here as well. Okay. We'll get a cube. And uh, then we'll put the cube through here onto the button. I mean, it's obviously like an introductory kind of chapter, so it's good to see that we're getting... We've pretty much seen all of the elements now within these first nine puzzles to, like, familiarise yourself with the, the elements. That's um, one good thing. 
I think we need to block that laser. cube here, isn't there? Yeah, just a solitary cube. Interesting faith plate. Oh, I'm missing something here on the setup. My bad. I haven't used the, um, the light bridge, so I need to just think here how to use the light bridge in this scenario. I would assume we do that, respawn the cube, walk over here with the light bridge. That's not going to give us the need, is it? Because I've got to think we're mono portal. Is that on mobile or are you on um, uh, la your laptop? I'm curious. I know they've had that on uh, PC for quite a, a while. Yeah, it might, might be a new feature on mobile. Interesting. The only way I'd get Paul there is if I had something on there and on here. Uh, sorry, no. On there and blocking the laser, right? From here I can go to there, block the laser, swap the portal. Right, let's just try that a minute. One thing I didn't think about before, again, just not utilizing that light bridge. Brings to here. Okay, I think this is what I missed. So then this is going to send me over to the other side and I can pull back into there to respawn the cube. All right, I got it. Neat puzzle, I like that. I need it on there though. Or do I? Oh. Yes, so... I still need the light bridge, so I've made a boo-boo. 
I've done did a boo boo. Just to know where I am now. I'm missing your academic challenges. I sometimes think back to university days and think of man I wish I could go back there but then I also realize like it's 20 years this, this year since I went to university which is mad absolute craziness Okay, so how do I get the lay the not the laser the light bridge back here? Oh, yeah, I use the faith play again, don't I? Man, I'm so stupid sometimes. That's the way we do it. Makes sense that like there's that bit of glass to separate the laser, use the block the laser on both sides. So, yeah, there we go. Oh. Congratulations, you did it! I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were uh baked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down after all. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. Uh... You've been uh, thinking about PhD then, Perfurious? Any sort of subject or in particular, or I mean, you've given it that much thought yet? All right, so we are at the mercy of a core. Dark in here, isn't it? Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter? No signal. I'm not you still having a bit of uh having much stuck with the job hunting then still. There it is. Hmm. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? So you have to stand in the scanner to get registered. Any plan how? Oh, good idea. I think that did the trick. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Okay, hi, Sterling. Can I just get the elevator to the surface and leave, please? Thanks. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Well done. Hmm. Not everyone gets this position, you know. You should be proud. Oh, I am proud of being a janitor. Cleaning up after humans that don't exist anymore. Hmm. Humans that don't exist anymore. That makes me feel uneasy. All right, then. Up we go.
it's that difficult position though I think for Furious where it's like in life you think getting qualifications will get you a job whereas I think in today's society a lot of employers kind of look for um, experience over qualifications so yeah it's a uh, Difficult situation to be in. Chapter two, the default route. You probably noticed by now that the facility isn't in great shape. It's a long story, so I'll cut it short. The central core in charge of maintaining the facility has been put out of commission. I tried to look after the place in her absence, but I don't have the tools. Good news, though. I found better tools. A device capable of repairing the whole enrichment center. The only problem is that only a human can turn it on, so I hoped maybe you could fill in that role for me? The life of every human and core in the facility is at risk if we don't stop the collapse. Come on, let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. No worries, Ferris. I don't feel you have to. Only share what you feel comfortable sharing, and if you don't feel like sharing anything, that's completely fine. We need to get closer to the surface. I found an elevator in this direction. I think there was a elevator to the surface back in the other room, so why can't we just use that? The sign has been treated with Picric acid and can be caused to detonate when moderate amount of shock or friction is implies, Im, impl applied. I'm touching it. Not detonating. I see a white gel pump. ahead is the turret disposal facility. Since they're all defective, they shouldn't be able to hurt you, but still be careful. There is a turret defect, like defective turret facility, isn't there? We always have to visit it every time. Poor turrets. You might think that their pain is only simulated, but how is it different to yours or mine? They really don't deserve to be shredded, but don't worry. All their scrap will be recycled for production, and only surplus turrets get shredded after all. All surface down there. So, I'm looking through your records, and I see you have a family. How are the kids? Oh, oh no. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, forget I asked that. I, I am so sorry. I think I've been in suspension. Oh, I've only been in suspension for like 70 odd days, I think, right? Creepy elevator. Live torrents. Ah, wind turbines. Of course. Try not to get blown away too much. These things can get supersonic if you turn them up. I think we might want to shut that down. Just a hunch. And possibly before we go in that direction as well. No, we've got to get the cube first. Okay. It's fine. We can do that. 
I think. Okay, ladders a bit. Junky the way that works. Yeah, that'd be a pretty cool route. I mean, it's, I guess, like, you've kind of seen there, it's like, it is, like, the whole, like, funding of it, which is the trickiest part. Understand that. I don't go that way. Oh, I thought I could go through there, but there's a there's a glass door there, so Fan control. Can we blow them away. Alright, that's one way to go. A bit a little bit overkill, granted, but we blew them away. Now, here's the next problem. Actually, there's a pulse of sir. So let's use that, and we can go into the next area. Yeah, thought that might happen. I was just intrigued as to whether or not there was a secret. Uh, I think we might need a cube. Possibly. Oh no, we can just jump down here. I thought we'd have to like climb up those boxes that had uh, been blown over, but nope. we go and onwards we go alrighty how does it feel to be an official aperture employee yeah must be great though on that topic don't try running off without me okay yes I made up the human emergency response team but so what it can still be real you are human this is quite an emergency and you are responding to it not quite a team yet though Hmm. I don't know. A team can't consist of one person. That doesn't make sense. I could get more people. That seems like a lot of work. You know what? I think we two make a great team in of itself. We might not make a fully human team, but you can't always get what you want. Semi-human? I'll go with that. To get back on topic, here's my proposal. You help me repair the facility, and I'll let you leave. Uh, it's not a CD though. It's a um, it's the middle from a uh, a cube. Okay.
Let's put a cube down there. Ah, there's a ladder here. That's a shortcut. This whole place doesn't sound very sturdy. That's okay. Not a problem. We'll see and interpret things differently. I kind of see why you'd think it was a CD. Looks like we are going this way. Nicely done. I don't believe my uh, cube part can come with us any further. That's a shame. As it spins off like a frisbee into the distance. This is a test observation facility. Humans had to sit here all day and watch you test subjects solve the chambers. In real time, too. Imagine. Work. That's a CD, Papyrus. And it was a key for something. I guess it was that door. There is a test chamber. I see it. Their bombs, possibly. Are on quite a linear path here, so. Can't deviate too far off the track. Game Design 101 from 2006. Something device, next generation. Tube, vent, vent. For various services and clients. Remove and drinks, needless blood donations. Hmm. Interesting. There's another observation room on the other side that can take you to the elevators. I'm sure you can find another way in there. You're pretty resourceful. Oh, okay. Bombs? Sure, if there's no other way. Do what you must. Just don't be reckless and only destroy what you need. Any other repairs, I'll have to assign back to you. Also, try not to die. I'm tired of mopping up human blood. That red never gets it out. this wall. Nice! Uh, I did see a, a post earlier on on the um, uh, the Discord about um, I think all the beta stuff had now been pushed through uh, into the main sort of game which is interesting. This is interesting as well like a or a cooperative testing track here. That's crazy.
never ending to do list. for this one to blow up. Uh, I guess... Oh, I actually don't need it there, do I? And it'll be so there was like 82 Easter eggs though to find or something crazy like that. Pretty insane. Okay, we go backwards again for final time. I like the idea behind this, but it's a lot of like backwards and forwards. Okay, you finally found the exit. Those bombs are a menace. Emergency door, do not block. Great to see that that uh, advice was adhered to. Lights. Thank you. I have a surprise for you after this last little hurdle. I know, I know. I promised no more test. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> well then, here you go. I'll wait up ahead and uh, prepare some things. Take your time. Okay, this looks like a beast of a test. So let's get ourselves stuck in, shall we? Okay, let's start off going over here. Of course, at this point, we are still like dealing with mono portals, so. Okay, can't go through there. And what do we got over here? Button there. The only one that I've seen so far. I mean, I say it's a monster test. It, I think it just looks really big because of the the setup here. It's in like a real big area, isn't it? Okay, so from that side we can activate something here. There is a another cube there. That activates a funnel. First time we've seen the funnel. And something else activates the light bridge. So potentially we don't want to be here actually with the cube just yet, given that we can access outside from the other side with the portal. Though I don't like we have a lot of other options at the minute. So let's head back through. Hey Ace, what's going on? Yeah, uh, it's pretty good so far. We don't—I don't feel like we've got into any major puzzles up to this point, but uh, this might be the first one. That's something. Um, but I didn't comment on the fact that it's—I don't know if it's like just the area is large in this one, which makes it look quite overwhelming. But we'll see. 
but uh, good to see you. Hope you're well. I think I missed like what this did, this button actually did. So, oh, it changed the portal location. Okay. Yeah, we completely missed that, didn't we? Okay, so we do that. Light bridge cross. And that gives us access to the funnel. Sure. Now we respawn the cube and we lose the portal, right? So get this other cube first. It seems a sensible thing to do. So once we do this... Uh, maybe we should have respawned that cube. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to take this through here. I think we're going to want to do something like this with this. And then... Respawn the cube. This one... Like so. Uh, do I actually want to send that through... There, I believe. We'll go through. This is the light bridge here. Activate the funnel. I think we might be done on this one. But yeah, I agree with that, uh, Pyrrhus. Big puzzle doesn't necessarily a big puzzle area at least doesn't necessarily mean um, complex and difficult. Cool, oh, awesome puzzle. I like that one. That was good. Need a bit of thought for that. So, yeah, onwards we go.